light tonight as we continue our one-on-one -on -one interviews with the major contenders in the race for mayor. WGN's Tom Negevin spoke with Gary Chico. Tom? Yeah, keep your eye on him, Mark. This is a candidate with a solid background in city government who hit the ground running early and is yet to slow down. Gary Chico is a man in perpetual motion. So Gary Chico, I'm kind of for the Always campaigning, never missing a chance to meet someone new. He may be making up for lost time. Well, you know, I've spent most of my time on the other side of that camera. Uh, you know, working in the trenches. I haven't been worried about getting my face on camera. Uh, but now if you're going to run for office, you do have to tell your story. Chico's story includes business and law, an unsuccessful Senate bid, and while they may not always see eye to eye, he's a guy the mayor plugged in all over. Three years as his chief of staff, Chicago public schools, city colleges, the park district. Doing the Lord's work. Today, he's meeting with not-for-profits, talking about tightening belts, which sounds somewhat like Chico's vision for the city. The status quo won't work. The problems are too great. And you know what, Tom? Thankfully, people's expectations are higher. He's talking issues. We want to know how he feels about the residency challenge facing the man perceived as his main opponent. I uh, haven't spent any time examining this question. You expect to run against Rahm and that's it? And We're preparing to run against the field that's there now. Chico's just as blasé about today's lottery and his position on the ballot. He's seventh. What do you think? Don't care. Uh, seven out of 20, it is what it is. Um, I, I, don't think, uh, I don't think it matters at all. What matters to Gary Chico? Balancing the books, raising money. He's backing a casino he estimates could bring in a quarter of a billion dollars. And yes, a big chunk would go to his beloved schools toward changing the status quo. You're at a crossroads right now, okay? The problems fiscally at the city and the Board of Education are enormous. And I'm telling you, if you don't have a plan and you don't have somebody with experience and the wherewithal to make these changes happen that we're talking about, you'll go like this. I want to take us like this. Chico changed what he calls the culture of pinstripe patronage at City Hall. He also put more police on the streets and frankly won't rule out a tax hike to pay for them. He faces his own financial challenge against the deep pockets of the Emanuel campaign, but as you heard, he does not want to weigh in on Emanuel's residency or his eligibility to be in the race for mayor. Mark? Tom Negevin, thanks. Coming up.